calculation means we have two variables when one of them change the value of the other uh, must be changed uh, the first type of variation is direct variation in <coughs> we can say that y varies directly as x if there is some non zero constant k such that y equal k times x k is called the constant of variation and we need to find this the value of this constant all the time and the symbol of this uh, uh, in this case uh, or written like y varies directly as x like this and of course we can say that that this is a direct variation in direct variation finally i can say that if we say that y varies directly as x or uh, using symbols or y directly proportional to x that means y equal constant time x k time x k is non-zero constant means k not equal to, z to zero or i can say that k is a constant of variation or constant of proportion if we can say that in direct variation y equal k time x k is non-zero constant <coughs> we need to find the value of k uh, or Divide, divide both terms by x to find the value of k so we can say that y divided x equal k or k equal y over x so the direct vari variations uh, formula is maybe y equal k of uh, k time x or y over x equal k that means y over x equal constant all the time Another way to solve direct variation problems <coughs> using proportion. As we said before that if y <coughs> equal k times x, in first case we can say that y1 equal k times k uh, equal k times uh, x1. That means k equal y1 over x1. And also in second case y2 equal k times x2. That means k equal y2 over x2. Finally I can say that in direct variation the division is always constant right that means y1 over x1 equal y2 over x2 or we can write it, write it like like x1 over x2 equal y1 over <coughs> y2 both of them are correct if y varies directly as x then y equal k time x right if x equal 2 when y equal 10 that means I can replace x with 2 and y with 10. Finally, I can say that k equal 10 divided by 2 equal 5. So the relation will be y equal 5x. <coughs> if y varies directly as x, y equal 10 when x equal to 0.4, find x when y equal 15. In this example, we don't, we, uh, the, uh, the question is not, it doesn't need the relation between y and x so we can solve using proportion method uh, direct so we have y equal 10 when x equal to 0.4 uh, write it like x1 y1 and find y at or y equal 15 when x equal what so uh, make the second case as x2 y2 finally x1 over x2 equal y1 over y so I can say that 10 over 15 equal 2.4 over x to find the value of x x equal 2.4 times 15 divided by 10 finally x will be 3 if y varies directly as x and y equal 9 when x equal negative 15 find the value of y when x equal 21 we can use the proportion method or uh, for, to find uh, or uh, finding the relation first and the constant of variation of course then find the value of y at y at x equal 21 start with uh, use any of uh, them but we are going to use uh, the relation method here uh, y equal k times x when y varies directly as x replace y and x with 9 and negative 15 that makes k equal negative 3 over 5 so the relation y equal negative 3 over 5 x uh, and we need to find the value of y when x equal 21 that makes y equal negative 3 over 5 times 21 <coughs> <One coughs> if 
final y equal negative 63 over 5. If y varies directly as x, y equal 24 when x equal 3, find the constant of variation, then find y when x equal 2. Start with uh, uh, the statement y varies directly as x, that makes <coughs> y equal k times x. I replace y uh, and x with 24 and 3, then 24 equal k times 3, that means k equal 24 over 3 equal 8. Finally, the relation will be y equal 8x. Type. Uh, find the value of uh, uh, y when x equal 2, that make uh, x equal 2, y equal 8 times 2 equal 16. y varies directly as x, y equal 6 when x equal 5, find y when x equal 15. This proportional method, here we have 6 over 5 equal I can say that y over x equal y over x or x y1 over y2 equal x1 over x2 so 6 over 5 equal y over 15 finally y will be equal 6 times 15 divided 5 uh, uh, so uh, y would be equal finally 80 another solution can solve uh, the previous example with the uh, the relation first y equal k times x and uh, use x and y as 5 and 6 replace x and y with 5 and 6 6 will be k times 5 finally k will be 6 over 5 so the relation will be y equal 6 over 5 times x and uh, uh, replace x with 15 then finally y will be 6 over 5 times 15 that makes y equal 80. If y varies directly as x and y equal 12 when x equal 2, find y when x equal 8. First, I can say that y and x, uh, y equal 12 and x equal 2, uh, y1 and x1, and uh, the second case y2 and x2 equal 8. So I can say y over x equal y over x, 12 over 2 equal uh, y over 8. Finally, after cross multiplication y would be equal 12 times 8 divided 2 or 2y equal 96 then finally y would be equal 48 the weight of the uh, of an object <coughs> on Venus varies directly with the weight of on earth uh, uh, a person weighting 120 newton on earth would weight 160 newton in on Venus uh, how much would a person weighting 150 newton on earth weight on venus here we have a relation between the weight on earth and on uh, venus uh, varies directly that makes y1 over x1 equal uh, y2 over x2 or x1 over x2 equal y1 over y2 finally i can say that 120 over 106 equal 150 over x <coughs> cross multiplication then 120 x equal 150 times 106 which is 15900 equal 120 y finally i can say that y equal 132.5 newton which of the following tables models direct variation if so write the relation or the equation uh, the the main point in uh, direct variation is the division is always constant value right y over x or x over y okay so uh, uh, in this in the first <coughs> table here we have uh, y over x equal in first case 12 divided 6 equal 2 14 divided 7 equal 2 16 over 8 also equal 2 so i can say that y equal 2x and the relation is direct variation second one 30 divided 10 it's okay if you start with <coughs> x or y 30 divided 10 equal 3. <coughs> 15 divided 5 equal 3. 9 divided 3 equal also 3. If we start from y, so y would be 10 over 30 equal <coughs> 1 over 3. 5 over 15 equal 1 over 3. 3 over 9 equal 1 over 3. So I can write the relation 
y equal 1 over 3x or y over x equal 1 over 3. Third one, when we have uh, y over x, 5 over 15, 1 over 3, 26 over 3, it's not equal. 1 over 3 and 75 also it's not equal over 1 not equal 1 over 3 so this this is not a, a direct variation finally i have 6 over 4 equals 3 <coughs> over 2 12 over 8 equal also 3 over 2 18 over 16 equal 3 over 2 27 over 18 also equal 3 over 2 so i can say that y equals 3 over 2x or 1.5x Direct variation is always written in the form y equal uh, uh, k time x. k should be uh, a number, constant number, non zero number like 2 method. If we have a relation like y equal 2x and we need to uh, uh, grab this relation. Of course, if we put, we put x equal 0, finally that makes y equal 0. So, all the time, all the time we have point zero zero on the graph of direct vari variation so in direct variation we know that it's represented by a straight line this is a linear function represented by a straight line and this straight line should pass through the origin point which is zero zero like this we have more than one point on the graph but this graph should uh, pass through the point zero zero tell me if the following graph is a direct variation or not first one here we have the uh, straight is this is a linear uh, uh, relation but the the line doesn't pass through the is not passing through the origin point so this is not a direct variation and go to the second one here the straight line passing through the point the origin point so this is a direct variation uh, third one and the straight line is not passing through the origin point so this is not it's not a direct variation and of course this is not a straight line and this is not a direct variation inverse variation and in this relation that I can say that y varies uh, inversely as x or y varies directly as 1 over x the following statement are equivalent if I said that y varies inversely as x that means y uh, uh, or y varies inversely or y is inversely proportional to x or I can say that y equal k over x <coughs> And the k is a non-zero constant. That make uh, uh, that means this is a constant, but not equal zero. Or I can say that x y equal <coughs> k in direct variation y equal k x. That means k time multiply a constant. Uh, sorry, k is a constant multiply x. And in uh, inverse variation, this is uh, y. The relation y equal k over x or x y equal k that makes y equal k divided x. Each of the following tables is inverse variation represent an inverse uh, variation and if it's so, write the equation. First, the in, in inverse variation, the time is always constant. Two times twelve equal 24 3 times 8 also 24 4 times 6 6 times 4 3 8 times 3 always 
the time uh, the product is almost equal 24 so this is an inverse variation and i can say that y equal 24 over x or y x equal 24. another example here we have 12 times 15 and 24 times 30 is not equal so this is not an inverse variation last one here we have 2 times 4 4 times 2 8 times 1 1 times 8 uh, the result for the product is always equal 8 so y equal 8 over x or i can say that y x equal 8 inverse variation in direct variation the division is always constant but in inverse variation the multiplication is always constant so x1 y1 equal x2 y2 that makes <coughs> x1 over y uh, over x2 equal y2 over y1 this is the inverse proportion if y varies inversely as x then uh, and y equal 12 when x equal 2 find y when x equal 8 <coughs> in inverse variation x1 over x2 equal y2 over y1 that makes uh, uh, 2 over 8 equal uh, y2 over uh, 12 finally 8y2 will be equal 2 times uh, 12 means 24 finally i can say that y equal 24 divided 8 equal 3 y varies inversely as x <coughs> and x equal 18 when y equal 6 find y when x equal 8 the relation in inverse variation x1 over x2 equal y2 over y1 that makes <coughs> 18 over 8 equal y2 over 6 so cross multiplication 18 times 6 equal 8 times y2 uh, so I can say that y equal 18 times 6 over uh, 8 finally y equal 13.5 find the relation between x and y and also find y when x equal 15 if y varies inversely as x and x equal 10 when y equal 12 first the uh, inverse re relation means x y equal k or y equal k over x finally I can say that uh, uh, x equal 10 and y equal 12 that makes 10 times 12 equal k 10 times 12 10 times 12 equal 120 that makes the relation or k equal 120 finally i can say that the relation x y equal 120 then try to find uh, the value of x uh, y when x equal 15 that makes x uh, 15 times y equal 120 finally can say that y equal 8 or I use another solution which is uh, uh, I can say that x1 over x2 equal y2 over y1 that makes uh, uh, 15 over 10 equal 12 over y so I can say 15 uh, time y equal 120 finally y will be also equal 8 If 1 plus 4x squared y squared equal 4xy, then uh, choose one of the following conditions. y varies directly as root x, y, var y varies directly as x, y varies inversely as x, or y varies inversely as x squared. First, try to rearrange the, the statement 1 minus 4xy plus 4x squared y squared equal 0. And then try to factorize the uh, expression first it will be 1 minus 2xy and 1 minus 2xy because 4x square y square 4 means 2 times 2 and the broad, the sum equal 4 also x square would be x times x and y square would be y times y and because of positive sign the two brackets will be will have the same sign uh, uh, which is negative Finally, I can say that 1 minus 2xy equals 0. So I can say that 1 equal 2xy. Finally, xy equal 1 over 2 or uh, uh, 0.5. So this is an inverse relation between x and y. So I can say that y varies inversely as x. Another problem which is uh, not considered to be direct or inverse, if I said that, x equal l plus 9 and l verse directly as y 
find the relation between x and y then knowing that x equal 24 when y equal 5 then find the value of y when x equal 12 first what does it mean y l varies directly as y that makes l equal k time y right so and uh, uh, x equal 24 when y equal 5 uh, go to the main equation which is x equal l plus 9 so place l with k time y plus 9 and use x equal 24 when y equal 5 then 24 equal k time x uh, time 5 means 5k plus 9 so 5k plus 9 equal 24 that makes 5k equal 24 minus 9 which is 15 finally k equal 3 write the relation x equal 3y plus 9 here we have the relation between x and y which is uh, x equal ky plus 9 replace k with 3 so x equal 3y plus 9 finally i need to find x uh, y when x equal 12 replace x with 12 equal 3y plus 9 so 3y equal 12 minus 9 which is 3y equal 1 finally If y equal 1 plus b, where b varies inversely as the square of x, y equals 17 when x equal 1 over 2, find the relation between x and y, find the value of y when x equal 2. First, y equal 1 plus b, right? And b varies inversely as square of x, so that makes b equal k over x square, right? So, and uh, replace y with 17 and x with with 1 over 2 first the relation would be 1 plus instead of b right k over x square so uh, 17 will be equal 1 plus k over x square and replace 1 to the other uh, side 17 minus 1 will be equal k over 0 0.5 power 2 uh, finally i can say that 16 equal k over 0 0.25 uh, then k will be 16 times 1 over 4 which is 4 the relation will be y equal 1 plus 4 over x square then find y when x equal 2 replace x with 2 that makes y equal 1 plus 4 over 4 means 1 plus 1 equal 2 x equal a plus 8 and a varies inversely as y uh, and uh, a equal 2 and y equal 3 find y when x equal 3 first we have x equal a plus 8 then a varies inversely as y that makes a uh, equal k over y a equal 2 when y equal 3 let's replace x uh, uh, a with 2 and y with 3 that makes k equal 2 times 3 equal 6 right then a equal 6 over y i can replace x uh, uh, sorry i can replace a with 6 over y go to the main equation which is x equal a plus 8 x will be instead of a 6 over y plus 8 then uh, uh, substitute in or try to find y when x equal 3 that makes 3 equal 6 over y plus 8 remove 8 3 minus 8 equal 6 over y negative 5 equal 6 over y finally i can say that y equal negative 6 over 